Not sure how to assess your fitula correctly? Well, no worries. By the end of this video, I'm gonna show you how to assess your fitula correctly so you don't have to wait on your dialysis tech and you can catch any issues early, like a stenosis. So if you know anyone that can benefit from these types of videos, please go ahead and share with them. And if you're new to my channel, what's up? Take a moment and hit subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell for the best kidney related advice and to be notified when I post every Sunday and Wednesday. So let's go ahead and get started. I have personally done this fistula assessment every day while I was on dialysis. You guys know I always tell you guys to take control over your health. Don't allow someone else to do everything for you. Otherwise, you won't know what you're doing. Yes, you may be going to dialysis, but don't rely just on your texts to check. You need to know what to do. I'm gonna be going over these steps with you right now. First and foremost, I don't do anything without my sanitizer. So I like to sanitize my hands just because we're living in a time of COVID. And so we just wanna make sure that we're not putting any extra germs on our bodies. So the first thing is to sanitize your hands. Second thing that I'm gonna want you guys to do is raise your hand above your head. This allows your fistula to collapse and you can feel for any issues. So you wait a second for it to become soft. If it doesn't become soft and you have some hard spots, you may have a stenosis. And at that point, you can bring it up to your doctor and let them take a further look in what's going on. Comment below, let me know, do you check your fistula every single day? or do you just wait for your dialysis nurse to check it for you? So the next step is you're gonna put your hand out and you're gonna feel at the main point for the thrill. So you'll use two fingers, put both fingers here. At the main point, this is where you're gonna feel the most pressure. This is where you're gonna feel that blood just rushing through. So once you put your fingers here, just your two fingers, then you're just gonna move up on that vein and continue to feel that blood pumping. And you're not gonna feel all the way up here, but you are gonna feel it and it's gonna slowly faint away. And that will let you know if the blood flow is well in the vein. If you touch in the upper body and it's starting to feel, you starting to feel pain, that means you're possibly getting some narrowing, which means that the veins are starting to close up. At that point, I would need you to, you know, call your vascular doctor and let them know, and they will be able to do an ultrasound on your arm to see. I personally dealt with that all the time when I was on dialysis, even after dialysis in my kidney transplant phase, I was getting a lot of closing. So you guys know that I personally have closed my fistula, um, but I still wanted to come on here for the people that are now getting started. I just wanted to teach you some dialysis education today, and I think the fistula is your lifeline, so it's so important that you take care of it. You baby this because this is keeping us alive on a daily basis. So you just wanna make sure that you can always get your dialysis treatment when needed. Now that you know how to properly perform a fistula test, also known as a quick assessment, what about knowing about the complications that can occur? Well, I'm gonna go over in some next videos that I'm gonna post right here for you guys that you can click on so you can understand what my decision was in getting rid of my kidney fistula after I got a kidney transplant. Also, if you guys wanna follow my journey and see behind the scenes, please go ahead, connect with me on Instagram, at Chrissy Mac. I love to get to know everybody on a personal level and this is the best place that you can actually see all the behind scenes of what's going on in my life on a daily basis. Go ahead and check out these videos next to learn more about the fistula. If you guys enjoyed this quick assessment, give me a thumbs up, let me know. Otherwise, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below and share this video with your friends. All right guys, see you next time.